Ladies and gentlemen, Shock and Or present three two-minute rounds of action in semi-professional K1, sponsored by Yaz Pro. And in the red corner with a record of one win and one defeat, weighing in at 70 kilograms, representing the Thai Academy in pool, Carol, the Polish experiment, Valenti. of the blue corner with a record of three wins and no defeats. He weighed in at 69.9 kilograms, representing Jim one in Portsmouth, the Iranian experiment, Habib Mahmoud. Your referee in charge of the actions, Mr. Rich Mitchell. This fight is sponsored by Yaz Pro. Three, two in a round. So Colin now back to some K1 action. This is a lightweight fight against Abid Mahmoud from Jim One and Carol Valendi from the Paul Thai Academy. Yeah, um, if I heard correctly, we've got the Polish experiment against the Iranian experiment. So um, a lot of experimenting going on. Let's see, see whose recipe worked out the best. <laughs> so Abid, oh, a bit of a slip there now. Abid uh, really much bounce on his toes, which is great, keeping that movement going. Just missed there with a low kick. Looking like a um, bit of a feeling out process for both guys here. Again, Amid looking to starting to look relaxed already. Actually, you know, just bouncing down on his feet, looking for the combos. Looks quite casual out there to me right now. Nice overhand. Obviously, he missed there, but it goes for the overhand. Again, bouncing up and down on his feet. Yeah, both guys sort of trying to find their range. Um, you know, getting 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 closer and closer as the time goes by, but they're um, looking to to find their range so they can let off some strikes that will. I Again, talking about range, obviously Carol Valendi looks to have a longer longer reach advantage, a bit of height advantage there. 
should be able to should be able to stay further back and, and have those strikes land. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, when you have that advantage, a, a simple jab is, is always a nice thing to have, and the front tip um, is always good as well. I guess it's just finding that measure. Yeah. So again, I think Carroll's looking a bit hesitant to commit to some of these strikes. I think he's concerned. Perhaps Abid has a rather rather heavy overhand to throw. The short, squattier fighter probably has a much more powerful shot. Starting to throw some combos as well now. Keeps looking for that overhand. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I guess he's hoping to land it at some point. Yeah, he's really looking for it. Coming to the end of the round now. So nice, nice first round. Pretty even, I would have said, uh, even in first round. So opening up round two, referee Rich Mitchell in between these two fighters. Carol Valendi actually coming out, opening up with a low kick. Abid circling away now. Yeah, Abid with his back to the fence. Again, kind of blocking those low kicks, throwing some low kicks of his own. Both fighters, a little clash there. I beat the, uh, the busier fighter. Yeah, just actually managed to, <laughs> managed to land that overhand. Um, I'd like to see more strikes from this Carol Valendi, you know. Obviously throwing some low kicks, looks a bit hesitant right now to throw his hands. He's got a very, st you know, his posture, um, you know, I'd look to be a bit more hunched over myself and, uh, you know, a bit more bouncing on my feet. He seems to be very much upright, Colin. Yeah, he's a little upright, um, but he does look very relaxed. That's one thing I'd say. Um, both guys, both guys actually throwing lever now, looking for the big blow. I think again, they've realised that these are only uh, very short rounds, and you just actually press the action to make a decision or, or you know, knock your fighter down. So in these in these K1 fights, a free knockdown rule applies, and that means that a fighter can be knocked down three times, and well, he can be knocked down two times in one round, and. If he gets knocked down a third, the fight will be ruled over. So no, no knockdowns yet. Um, but the pace does seem to be getting a bit faster now. Oh, Abid, big again, shots. Abid starting to catch some overhands there. They seem to be his go-to move. And Abid seems to be you know, sitting back down on his feet now. He's not actually, uh, not actually bouncing down on the balls of his toes. Again, looking for the overhand twice. Yep. Approaching the end of the round. Big shot there, just missed. And again, he loves that. <laughs> so end of the second round, again, both guys really even matched again, uh, Colin, which is great at Jim uh, uh, Shock and I here. All the matches are really well matched up, really well paired fighters. Third and final round, here we go. So again, pretty, pretty even couple of rounds there, Colin. Yeah. Obviously, the fighter looking to finish the fight and hopefully win the decision needs to be pressing a bit more action now. Yeah, I think I think both guys need to work a little bit harder in this round. You don't want to leave it up to... The, I mean, finishing strong is always good for the judges to see as well. And again, we start to see this Carol Valendi from uh, Paul Thai Academy start to throw hands. So throwing kick as well as hand combinations. Again, still hesitant, and it's, uh, it's because of that right overhand. He just ate one. Putting the combos together now. And again, Abid has actually managed to catch that kick, possibly hold on to that kick for too long. Uh, you've got about a second rule to hold on to that kick and do something, and uh, I think he might have been uh, abusing that slightly. Yeah, he gets, to, he gets to catch the kick as long as he throws a shot. Um, he is, he is headhunting, though. He's looking for that overhand right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So again, both fighters using a lot of teeps here, a lot of front kicks. Not actually as much boxing in these K1 fight this evening. No, lots of kicking. Oh, big oh, shot big from right Carroll. Hand, big right hand, not back a bead. If I was Valendi right now, I'd be jumping on this opponent. He needs to put the pressure on, definitely. Absolutely. Looking at more combinations, starting to throw some hands. A bead needs to get away from the fence, circle off. So Paul Academy now telling their fighter to use their footwork. He's starting to throw hooks. Again, he's got his opponent, Abid, up against the cage. 
Maybe this, this is his plan. Maybe this is, this is you know, it. This is totally influencing the judge's decision. You know, first, second round, pretty even. Third round, being dominated by the Call Academy fighter. Abid's corner telling him and to get it. off the fence. That's it. It's and all there over. It is. Another nice, another nice matchup from uh, from these guys. Really good K1 fight. I think Carroll actually looks uh, pretty happy with himself. Probably thinks he's got the win. He might be right. He might be right. And after three rounds of action, we've had to go to the judges' scorecard. For your winner by unanimous decision, in the blue corner, the Iranian experiment, Habib Mahmoud. Let's go over your runner-up, Carol Valenti.